This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 692 Tuesday. We've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. That's right. I'm going with it. We don't give any fucks. It is uh, Thanksgiving <laughs> week. It is a holiday. We have with us from Beacon, New York, the only Mayhemer with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. It is Mad Mike. Hey, Sorg, the only turkey I see is sitting over there on the fucking couch. Whoa, right there. We gobble, got a long gobble, shot. motherfuckers. It's Ronnie Starks. Hello, everyone. I oh. guess I'm a giant fucking turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the studio, playing with all the dogs. Mm-hmm. Well, we had dogs earlier. They're all gone now. Oh, that, that dog was let great. The dogs out. Wait, what's that? Who let, let the dogs, the dogs out? out? Well, barely Missy did. Who, Missy went. Who, who? I don't know. Missy Finally, went. we know. It was Missy. Someone called the Baja men. Missy like took the one dog, said, I-, I need to get a hamburger and left. And we've never we haven't seen her again. I don't know where she's getting a hamburger in this neighborhood at 930 at night. Did she turn the dog into a hamburger? Shh. Oh, no. Wicked. I'll That's weird you. because I heard dogs are usually better meat for pepper steak. Oh no. no. That's a wrestling joke, oh, guys. It is. It it is. A wrestling joke. Oh. Uh, guys, anyways, uh, this is the wrestling main show. We're gonna try to talk about pro wrestling tonight and let we got I think we got the Mandalorian talk out of our system on the pre show. Uh, um, let's be honest. It'll never this. be out of our I did system. watch Lady and Tramp today. Well, mostly. Sorry, I, I, saw asleep. Of, I saw a gif of Snitsky punk ding Baby Yoda. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, <that's> a, <laughs> Snitsky can go straight to hell. That's oh. a joke. I didn't see that, but internet, now that you N- Now that's been out in the world, let's make <laughs> wink, that happen. Wink, yeah. dodge, dodge, it's not my right. fault. So uh, my f- you can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com where you can find links to us in a podcast and video form or look us up on your favorite platform. Please subscribe and rate us on those podcast platforms, especially like it on, on the Twitter. Hey, if you're in the live chat room right now, do me a favor. Give me give me, give me, give me a heart. Give me a thumbs up. Give me whatever you're feeling right now about the show uh, so more people can find us out there. Uh, give, me some, give us some love out there on the uh, Facebook Live or whatever platform you might be joining us on right now. Uh, you can also ask your Google Home, Amazon Echo, or that Siri device uh, to listen to the Wrestling Mayhem Show podcast. Uh, you know, when you hop out of the shower or whatever. You can email us at that email address. Good, good times. times. Good, yes, good times at Wrestling Mayhem Show. Dot com four one two two zero six WMS zero at Mayhem Show on the Twitter and a Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page and a wonderfully active Wrestling Mayhem Show group. I've just been dropping just random random images that I find over on, uh, including including you see uh, Ronnie Starks not being able to carry. Uh, you know, in wrestling, the Ronnie Starks Starks can't carry anything. No, we know that Ronnie Starks can't carry (laughs) Jordan Styles. Like literally, you dropped him. He jumped in my arms. You know, he didn't really give me a chance to uh, react. He's just like your arms. You have to catch them. I mean, this isn't uh, dirty dancing. Like I'm not gonna like do the lift. Although that would be amazing, and you need to work on that. Do you want me to text him and be like, "Yo, we're doing the lift next month"? Yeah, go ahead, do that. I mean, what what are we doing? Like a rise or something next month? Uh, uh, I don't. If you tell me you're gonna do dirty dancing at the next rise show, I'll cancel whatever that other booking is and come to rise. (laughs) Fine, we're doing (laughs) Jordan. We're doing the dirty dancing. I'm sorry, West Virginia. We're not gonna see each other next month. (laughs) Um, New exercise called Sways Fit. Sways it, fit? Sways fit. Okay. It's doing crossfit but holding a fifty ten fifty pound dumbbell in the air like Jennifer Gray. <laughs> Can I so, be the Sways fit Jesus? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm in. But but every epi- every workout you finish, it has to be the time of your life. Mm. And uh hey. they guarantee you'll never feel that way before. Like, like, <laughs> I swear. I owe it all to you, Mike. It's the truth. I owe it all to you. 
<laughs> Anyways, it's a lot of singing on this show tonight. Um, hey, you can also catch us and uh, join the sing along at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern time every week on Facebook Live every Tuesday. And if you catch us later on one of those other outlets and have some comments or just want to tell us what we got wrong on this episode, tweet us at Mayhem Show with the hashtag WMS692. Man, the road to 700. That's when we'll be the uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show 700 Club. Then the uh, then the rules change a little bit. Uh, <laughs> you can also... yeah, then we have to go on at one o'clock in the morning mm-hmm. after a, after a um, sword. What movie will we be airing before that? Rookie uh, of the year, uh, rookie of the year, rookie or the Roadhouse, year? Uh, uh, Road, Roadhouse, or apparently Roadhouse. Dirty Dancing now. Yeah, yeah Dirty Dancing. Yeah. By the way, Ronnie, have you watched Rookie of the Year? I watched it twice already. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like since that Disney Plus came up. Yeah. Answer. Yeah. Wow. I'm proud of you, Ronnie. And I watched Blank Check the other day. <laughs> Ronnie, yeah. Ronnie, I've also watched Blank Check. Do you know what I watched today? <laughs> I can only imagine. Camp Nowhere. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. You need to watch, uh, uh, what was that movie where all the fat kids went to camp? Heavyweights. Yeah, you need to watch Heavyweights next. Heavyweights. Wow. Wow, you're calling me fat. Thanks, Ronnie. No, I'm fat too, bro. It's okay. Uh, I know, but. You know. There, there's a uh, there's a warning at the beginning of Mighty Ducks. By the way, uh, they put on the warning saying there's like adult language in the Mighty Ducks movie. Hey, they say there's sensuality in Camp Nowhere. Do they really? <laughs> Anyways, bring him back off of the Disney Plus podcast. You can no, also I... support us at patreoncom uh... wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, <laughs> less than the price of a Disney Plus, uh, including our friends at the fan of the show, uh, one dollar level of friends. Bo. Woo! And Burke, Bobby of J-Town, Tina Keys, Team Hamifist, and at the, yes, I believe I changed this last week, it is officially the Poppy Club. Yes! Poppy Club. $5. Uh, our friends are Bradley, uh, Doc Remedy, Dave Potter of the Tiny Shutter Podcast, and Kyle Turner. I and finally incepted Sorb. And the Pizza Club, $10 level. Our friend at $13, Ryan Clark, and our manager at $20, OccupyProWrestling.com. You can support the show too at patreon.com slash wrestling ma'am show and get a little bit extra content for your uh for your uh donation as well and help the mayhem show grow. So wrestle, 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 wrestle. I, I posed a question. Let's start okay. with this. I posed a question, and I think I well, I should have I should have added a few more details to the question after people start responding. I feel like WWE has put out the best weekend of wrestle this year. I agree. Hmm? I hmm. can care. Mm-hmm. And again, this is this is like we we were of course pollinating the NXT all over the place. And I remember we were sitting there, and I it was, I think it was Billy Johnson uh, that was saying um, that it, it just seems like, and we've we've noticed this several times. It just seems like you know that secondary main pay per view, whether it be a SummerSlam, Survivor Series, Money in the Bank, is always paling in comparison than that Saturday Night Takeover, right? Uh, mm-hmm. By the way, I've been told. That we should no longer call it WrestleMania weekend or Survivor Series weekend or Royal Rumble weekend. They are called Takeover weekends. Yeah, yeah, that's mm-hmm. a good suggestion. Considering, um, you know, it, and it seemed like kind of long in the tooth. And I know some of us have other issues with the uh, multi-person run-ins that happened the weeks leading up to Survivor Series. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> some other technical reasons for that. Okay. 15 people matches sword yeah yeah how you doing it hasn't driven you to drink has it oh not yet no wait no till, no wait till thursday wait till thursday <laughs> i'm just gonna i'm just gonna start downing gravy that's what's mm. gonna happen uh are you gonna dip it in biscuits biscuits nope, and i'm gravy. just gonna funnel it down my gullet gravy. you know thank you for that because i completely said there goes festus when he got dumped out of the ring last week <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're on the same uh, uh brain wink, but we got this oh man i love anyways i love luke gallows we almost had him on the show once and he's like hey i can't do this because i just signed this contract do you want to talk to domino and i said no <laughs> or you should have said yes i should have said yes but I, why wouldn't we talk to domino I, i'm just like man i don't know i don't know what to ask domino right now what's up uh, what was or, Cherry I up know to? exactly what to ask domino what would you ask domino if we would have had him on is Cherry really good in those roller skates? Or are they fixed? 
Because uh, I don't know if I ever saw her skate in them. Okay. I saw her walk in them. I feel like the wheels were locked. Okay. That I it was a legitimate question I've it's had a good for question. years. It's a good question. They definitely had to have been locked because there's no issue. I feel like race. they had to have been. <laughs> Anyways, it's not like we're watching fucking Brink over here. You know, she was she was in a skirt and roller skates. Brink? What? Yeah, Brink. What are we talking? Sorg. 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 Are you not up to date? On your DCOMs? <laughs> My what's? Disney Channel original movie sword? No, I'm not. We God were just having this discussion. Damn it. Man, I did not. I listen. Was, I was telling him about Hatching Pete, and he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, uh, man. Whenever, Minutemen. whenever I would have been a, somebody of the age to watch Disney Channel original movies, I did not have the Disney Channel. Sorg, Sorg. You have Disney Plus now. I do. It's time. Your, your mission. I've given Ronnie a mission. I, I, he has whoa. completed it twice. Mm-hmm. Your, your mission is to watch two out of the three. And I'm saying two out of the three because Ronnie watched Rookie of the Year twice. Okay? So, Sword, by next week, you have to watch two out of the three of these. Okay? All right. I'm going to add them to my watch list right now. Yep. Okay. Brink. Brink. Yes. Mm-hmm. What's Brink about? It's it's about roller bladers, sword. Oh yeah, there it is. Are we gonna watch, make him watch Mister Boogity? No. Oh, no, 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 no. I, no, I have no. That's, well, that's, that's another game. All right, there's Brink. Oh, okay. they look, they look like bad boys. It's a good yes. movie. Don't worry about it. Yes. Um, Xenon Girl in the Twenty First Century. Oh, How yes. do I spell that? Xenon. N O N. Don't worry, it'll come up. Yeah. Z E N O N. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Johnny Tsunami. Hold on, wait for Xenon. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. There's a couple of these. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, the first one. The first one. Wait, just wait, the first I, got, one. I got Xenon. I you got... don't need to see Xenon the sequel or Z3. What the hell? So, I mean, you can if you want oh, to. Z3, I'm not going to begrudge you. The but... girl. The wait, can I just pick one of these? Let's see. Xenon. No, the first one. The girl sword. of the 21st Century. Yes. Is a 1999 show. Yes, it has Raven Simone in it, so you'll love oh, it. Okay, that's a plus. That's a plus, I guess. Anyway, I, I love Stepsister from Planet Weird, Can of Worms. Like these oh, movies. Can of Say, Worms, man. Wow. Say, what is Sork. this world? Sork. All right, what's number Even three? In the chat room, they're confirming because Xenon is a banger. Because I it think is Xenon is definitely one I'm watching. Yes. Okay. You got me with that. Um, Johnny Tsunami. Johnny. Is it? Wait, wait was that another John T- Morris? Is that T- another Johnny S- Impact? No. No. I God, I Tsunami. wish though. So. I know how to spell. There, there's. A, you don't know. I that know you. how to spell Johnny. You didn't tsunami. know how to spell Mandalorian. What about? Uh, He's a teen surfing sensation. Why is there a spell? Yeah. What about Lemonade Mouth? He needs to watch Lemonade Mouth. But what? Sorg, it's a fish out of water because he's taken out of the water. It's true. <laughs> Listen, he's man. Sent, he's what? sent to Aspen. Can I just go watch Cool Runnings? No, no, that doesn't no, count. Sorg, you cannot. And the fourth one. Wait, there's four. You have you have two of the four you have to watch. Okay, what's number four? Double teamed. Yes. I watched that the other <laughs> don't day, too. That, don't type that into the wrong website. I mean, yeah. Absolutely you know. type that into the wrong website. Like, you know, and even... and even take, so good. Generally take Disney Disney movies. Wait, Doug is on here? Uh, That's or Disney's Doug, not Nickelodeon door. You oh, distracted. is it not as good? No, you just oh, ignore that. Oh, you no. Ignore that. That's the ABC, Doug. We don't talk about that. We don't talk that about that. never ABC. happened. We don't talk about the ABC, Doug, with Dirt Bike Cleopatra funny, all right? Oh, and, man. And, we don't talk about that shit. <laughs> and don't you dare watch Doug's first movie, because that was Doug's last movie. Yeah. What? <laughs> it was Doug's garbage. First movie was also his last. Oh, it was terrible. Yeah, it was not Man. great. Jeez. It was not so great. So basically, we're watching this in front of, instead of WWE Network lately, right? right. Uh, yes. Yes. Categorically. Sorry, so, WWE Network. Home Alone's one through three are on there. What? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm typing this in and checking. I'm, sorry. So, it, I've, and I've, I've is this a new record in this becoming the Disney podcast? Is it? No, no, because we actually should talk about wrestling. Uh, and uh, conferring with Tina, uh, Flight of the Navigator is one of the best movies of all time. Okay, yes. but yes, yes, but that's not your assignment, Sorg. No, that's not my assignment. Your assignment is two out of these four movies. 
I'm gonna make so it, I'm they're gonna make all it. like an hour and a half each. I know because they're because they're, they're made for TV movies. Yes, they're so made for TV. They're like probably an hour and twenty minutes. Uh, double team could have been a two hour. You know what? I don't know if it's on there or not, and I kind of hope it is because it was also a decom. Um, Ronnie, have you heard of, of Wish Upon a Star? It's on there. It's on there. It Sorg, Sorg, Sorg. Add Wish Upon a Star also to that list. All right. Yeah, I don't want to go that deep into it. No, Sorg. No, it, it's Sorg? a banger. Sorg, uh, it's, it's great. It's got a young Catherine Heigl in it. Who? Catherine, Catherine Heigl. Heigl from Knocked Up. Mm-hmm. Okay, talk about wrestling while I figure out my, my okay. Disney watch list um, right you're, now. You're being asked if uh, we saw Macaulay Culkin being horny for Rhea Ripley on Twitter. And I'm. Whoa! To be, he was. To be honest, literally all of Twitter is horny for Rhea Ripley. Yeah, and I, I, for one, do not blame them. So so were like uh, members of our watch party. It was like, it was uh, like, hey. So are members of this show right now. <laughs> Uh, she uh, she had a good weekend. She did and a good showing. Jeez, and right. holy fuck! On Friday she pinned Charlotte. Yeah. Mm-hmm. On Saturday, she and, and, and in, listen when when I see a tweet from Lee Moriarty of like I need to figure out how to be this clever with that clip yeah. from SmackDown. Uh-huh. Yeah, because uh, you didn't see she. It was uh, Charlotte had Sasha in the figure eight. Rhea slid in underneath Charlotte and pinned her while she was conducting the figure eight when she yep. was doing the bridge. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. Um, and was the I believe that the women's war games was the best war games I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was great. Mm-hmm. It was really good. I liked the men's war games slightly more. Just because it had more it was chaos. it was it more, more of a spectacle. It was more of a spectacle. It had more chaos to it because I don't necessarily like a team being down two members and mm-hmm. still winning. Right. I don't necessarily like that. I understand why they're doing it and I mm-hmm. approve of it. Mm-hmm. And and the turn by Dakota Kai mm-hmm. was one of the greatest fucking things they've ever done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, and that. Is it always in Chicago where someone has to violently injure their best friend? <laughs> it's something about Chicago. You know, listen, man, if you go to Chicago, Chicago you're going to tell me deep dish pizza is pizza. Fuck you. I'm turning on my friend. Yeah, it's casserole. It's casserole. Yeah, deep dish pizza, pizza isn't pizza. Uh, it's, yeah, fuck that pizza. <laughs> fuck Chicago. <laughs> You want good pizza? We got Slice on Broadway right you know, there. That's right. You I, see I what I just did there? It all went full circle. Full circle. We're not on that ad yet. I, I, I that would have been this. a great segue, though. I'll go back to it. WWE, WWE made, a, made a costly mistake. Hmm. What's that? Um, They <sighs> should not have had the return of CM Punk on backstage. <laughs> Less than a week before. Is he here yet? Is and, he here yet? He's coming out, right? It's it was the great pumpkin the mm. whole, whole fucking weekend. The great pumpkin. Uh, pun- uh, I oh, I walked into that uh, and I should have seen that coming. But yes, it was the great CM pumpkin, and just like Linus, those people were not fulfilled. <laughs> Well, because nothing would have equaled like like there was so much good this weekend, but nothing. It, it's it's like it killed the Survivor Series crowd. It did. It did. It did, and it's a shame because Survivor Series, I thought, was a fun show with a few really dumb decisions. Uh huh. Uh huh. But a fun show overall. It was fun. It was um one. I want to point out one thing because we've argued about this in the past, Mike. About mm-hmm. whether the pre-show counts, and then the Survivor Series went and That's said we don't it didn't count. Count last year. It did. It didn't count last it year. Did not it count this year. But this year, have we come full circle on the kickoff show? Is pay per view? It's not pay per view. It's not pay per. Okay, a kickoff it, show was two hours hard. long, dude. It was it's two hours. It's a separate show, file dude. on the fucking network. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! But it's still, separate- it had like one of the best matches of the night with the tag teams, mm-hmm. right? It had, uh, we did count them. Of course, we did go 1 1 and 1 across the board. <laughs> so it was like, and it was <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, Charlie Brown. Caruso. It's, funny. it's really nice that this thing ended up on as an even playing field going into the pay per view. Yeah, it's almost shocking. like, how convenient, Charlie. Don't shocking point it out. Happened. 
Shocking how that happened. Jeez. We're, we're all tied I thought, up. You know, she's, I thought like I thought like like Booker T was ready to backhand her with that comment. Now, see, I would say that that means it doesn't count, <laughs> but but the pre-show was the only win Raw got. It was. <laughs> and but see, here's another argument for the pre-show doesn't count because guess who didn't acknowledge that? Seth freaking Rollins. Oh, really? He didn't acknowledge that the Viking Raiders were the only ones who got points for Team Raw. Yeah, yeah. He had a big they speech. didn't tell him. No. <laughs> like, I don't think Seth saw the pre-show. No. I mean, who knows? It's Either way, it was... War Games... It's still not part of the pay-per-view. I'm glad it counted. War, War Games was incredible um, for a four-match show. Yep. <laughs> Four matches. Four so matches. Need, and honestly, honestly, could have done three. <laughs> yeah. Could have done three. Just throw Riddle and Balor into that War Games match and have that triple threat. Yeah. You could have done three matches. Yeah, you could have. Maybe. I think my biggest pet peeve about it all is them literally taking uh, Gargano out of the equation to even be a part of the whole damn pay-per-view. Mm-hmm. I think well, that really pissed me off, but... I mean that it was an injury. Yeah, he, was it a shoot injury or was it? Oh you know, no, he's out for a while. Oh yeah, fuck! Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that sucks. He's so, out for a while. Like I, he I will be missing many takeovers. I also think it, it was it was a really good. You know, obviously this was a continuing of kind of the coming out party for NXT, right? Because we had that. I, I think Damian Priest got made this weekend too. A lot of people know who he is now, um, and he's been building. I, I don't know about that. No, okay. All he right. did not have a strong showing on Survivor Series. Uh, Damian? Yeah, he did. Oh not. yeah. Hey, he had a better he showing. He walked in. He got RKO'd. That was it. He had a better showing than Walter. Oh, that. Oh, don't oh, even. No. Uh, wait that was uh, bullshit. Way to piss when, off a. When that was when that was the first fall. Mm-hmm. I had PTSD from the Extreme Elimination Chamber match. Mm. <laughs> of December to December. Mm-hmm. That's I, I felt that. Like that was visceral. Like they could have fucked that entire matchup. Mm-hmm. They could have fucked that entire matchup. Like, like if you're and all right, and here, I didn't want to get this. <laughs> but here we go. <laughs> so, we don't want to protect Walter. Okay. Like, he gets taken out of one Claymore kick, right? Mm hmm. But Precious Baby Braun Strowman has to lose by count out. Mm hmm. Now, if you're going to do count outs in a Survivor Series match, mm hmm. Watch the end of that match again. Pete Dunn should have been counted out. Roman Reigns should have been counted out. Tommaso Ciampa should have been counted out. Every one of them should have been counted the fuck out. Mm-hmm. Now, if you want to do count outs, here's what you do. You have Braun Strowman and Walter fight to the back, and they both get counted out and eliminated. There you go. There you go. Yeah. It's not fucking hard. It was just stupid. Like, why would you have a guy who is clearly dominating... Over in NXT and over in NXT in UK, and he's the UK goddamn champion. And mm-hmm. you're like, oh, here's a guy that you know, Drew McIntyre isn't really doing anything important on the show. Hey, let's just have him lose with a Claymore. Kick. Now, now, I, I will make an exception for this. If this leads to Drew McIntyre getting a UK title shot, please, I'm okay with it. I'm much, I'm much better with it. I don't think that's the case because I think he's going up against Joe Coffey. At the next pay per view, mm. but if that leads to Drew McIntyre somehow going to NXT UK to get a title shot, that's slightly better. And then Walter destroys him as mm-hmm. he should because he's Walter, all caps. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, yeah, all caps. No other all caps. <laughs> all right, I want to talk a little bit more about this, including uh, kind of what is NXT's newest position. In the uh, landscape of WWE here. But first, I want to give a shout out. We got a great thing going on over at IndieWrestling.us. The Indie Wrestling Network. IndieWrestling.network. We got a lot of great content, including uh, within, I think it was up within 24 hours of, uh, of the show. We had the Rise Wrestling Inclusion Revolution 
mm-hmm. up on the Indie Wrestling Network. You can check out. It was a great night. I know Ronnie, you were a part of that as well. That was um, and, really fun. And uh, it was it was a really cool event that was for uh, Special Olympics mm-hmm. of Pennsylvania Fayette County. Mm-hmm. Um, I know a lot of the uh, athletes of the Special Olympics were involved in uh, coming out with a lot of the a lot of the wrestlers that night too. Mm-hmm. So that was a really cool uh, thing that was going on. And also, I can confirm that uh, production and editing has begun on refs with, refs with rigatoni. Yay! So that is a thing that um, is happening right now. Sorg, I, I can also confirm that one Ziggy Heim has accepted the offer to do a Mandalorian podcast. Fantastic. Yes. That happened before the show. All right. We're just going to have to, you know, what, what, should that be like a direction we go in the wrestling mayhem show podcast network? We just do shows that are other shows, but happen to involve wrestling. Sorg, I want to do a whole podcast about crisis on infant nurse. Can we please <laughs> like, seriously, I, I want yes. to talk about it. Uh, this might be a thing that happens. Um, hey, it's one way to expand, right? But anyways, go check it out. Uh, a lot of great stuff happening over there. Also, just this past week, some best ofs, including an old uh, best of CM Punk Volume 1 has gone up on the network, Heck including yeah. matches uh, from like 2002 and 2003 on there with AJ Styles, Christopher Daniels, and uh, even some of our local favorites here that you can check out. Um, and uh, as I say, the Adam Cole, uh, his, uh, his, his kind of Pittsburgh run here, um that uh, uh went down at the at the end of uh oh geez that was a cu- just a couple of years ago wasn't it hey, greatness right there yeah, there's a greatness right there there's your trailer for the uh inclusion revolution go check that out a lot of great content um we we geez we're up to i think i was doing the math three to five new shows new wrestling shows every month on indie wrestling.network that you can get for only five ninety nine. You can go dip into the content unless we got waffles with women, which includes Ziggy Heim. Um you can also check out uh Breakfast with Champions and of course coming up Russ with Rick Tony and we are not down there. And Duke and Doe's hardcore members we got memories. We got ten episodes of that. Uh, uh Queen Shirley Doe reminiscing about the good old ECW days. Uh he's in even uh, and, and side note has nothing to do with the network, but there's a um, there's been a Fight Society podcast that we've been rolling out the last couple months, and uh, n- this week is BC Steel, which is fantastic. Mm. Um, and then the week after that is a is a nice like twenty. Oh, I got right in front of me here. No, I don't because it's a premiere. We got about twenty twenty five minute talk with Shirley Doe that he gets really deep into some of his. Uh, wrestling philosophy actually <laughs> a little nice. bit and, and influences and things like that and we've had like an hour interview with him here for indie wrestling or indie mayhem show uh and those are those podcasts are also posted over on indie wrestling.us and wrestling mayhem show.com a lot of great stuff happening all over the place with a lot of our great partners rise wrestling with a y um prospect pro wrestling black diamond wrestling um and uh and and uh and and other partners as well renegade wrestling alliance uh, I knew I was forgetting one. <laughs> so, uh, and a lot of great, cool content there. Premier Championship Wrestling, we've been putting a lot of their shows up as well. Uh, and then we'll get another one up here in a week, I believe, will be the next uh, uh, release for them. So go check that out. We got a lot of content there. And support indie wrestling. All right. So, with that, I wanted to come back around again. So, we have WWE has introduced NXT. To the rest of the WWE universe landscape, mm. right? Which and showed that they are much better, and showed and yeah. gave gave them the win at Survivor Series, right? This not brand, just gave them the win. They, NXT they fucking dominated. dominated. Yeah. They did. They did. So really, kind of pushing that as this is the next level. These guys are nipping at at everybody's heels. Yeah. Please go watch on Wednesday nights. What other wrestling show? I think we're gonna see an NXT title match at WrestleMania. I think I think we've opened that up with Survivor Series. We had a title match with uh, Pete Dunne and uh, Adam Cole at Survivor Bebe. Series. Hmm? Adam Bebe. Cole, Bebe. Bebe. excuse me, sorry, sorry, it, it's a it's a reflex. Of I pre- I pre- I mispronounced his name. Um, <laughs> I think is this bringing us into NXT matches will be happening on pay per views. Uh, no, no? no, just this one instance, no. maybe Big Four. 
We'll probably Maybe get a title match at the Rumble and then a title match at WrestleMania. I think NXT guys are going to be all over that Rumble. Oh, I guarantee it. I think we're going 10, 10, and 10, right? I think we should go to 40 man Rumbles. Mm. What if an NXT guy I wins think we should go to 40 Rumble? man and 40 woman Rumbles. I think there's enough of a roster. True, true. Yeah, or, or keep the women at 30 and go to 40 men, 40 men Rumbles. Mm-hmm. What's that, Ronnie? I forget what I said. That's <laughs> I don't think it was important. Okay, Skype run over. Uh, and, and a confirmation for Alex Carr is out there uh, out, out in Cali. So we're clear. The pre-show matches did count for these counts. Um, just not for Seth Rollins. Um, so. <laughs> well, Seth didn't watch the pre-show. That's, so. right. That's uh, right. Seth is too busy trying to piss off CM Punk to worry about anything else. There's that, oh, too. There's yeah, that, too. that was... Uh, uh, Seth is, is too busy trying to book his own WrestleMania match. That's not gonna hey, happen, Seth. Well, yeah, I yeah. think it is. I think it is. If it does, I will literally squeal in excitement. Listen, man. Uh, listen, man. You throw enough money at anybody, and it's gonna happen. Um, <laughs> Who was that? Your Thai bot? It's the worst. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, when I got money to throw at the sorry, camera, sorry. I always sorry. got throw mo- it's, throw it's, that money at the camera. It's like it's, like, like, uh, it's like fifty cents technically, but it's that was sorry, can we make are we gonna make a Thai bot bet on this. Like, I can't remember where we're official. What's the I, where I are we at? How many? Like three times. I need to go back to Thailand to get some more Thai bots because I owe you so many. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Um, uh, the, the ye old Thai bot bet. At the, uh, the ten year anniversary, I just want to go back to Thailand with Chess Flex, or so I can watch the rest of the ping pong show. Yes. <laughs> Wait, you <laughs> actually went to Thailand? Yeah, I went to Thailand yeah. with Chess Flex, or. <laughs> Study the lore. You don't Ronnie. know about this? What? Go look at Ronnie, Study the lore. Just go look at my Facebook from three years ago. Lorgatron. That's the most random. Okay, yeah. Is there videos and shit? Yeah. Oh, I'm in. The whole point was that I was shooting video. No, I'm totally stalking your Facebook later. Yeah, like, and they're like, hey, if we pay for you to go to Thailand, will you shoot video for us? And I'm like, yes. Did you guys go to Bangkok when you went to Thailand? Yeah, Bangkok and Phuket. Holy fuck, dude. Yeah. Was the whole world your oyster when you're in Bangkok? Oh, well, I mean. One night in Bangkok and the world's your I got offered oyster. things that I probably um, shouldn't have been offered. Yes. Is, it, is it true? I mean, Are there chicks with dicks in Bangkok? Oh, uh, I, I know that Flexer went to a Lady Boy show. <laughs> I love that fucking dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll tell you some stories off air. Uh, um, anyways. God, I got to message him later. I'm like, dude, what <laughs> Go look shit? at his YouTube channel. He is, a lot of those videos are on there. Oh, I totally am. Yes. Three years ago, huh? Three years ago. Wow. I just got the notification like yesterday of like the first day in Bangkok when I woke up and, and saw the view from my 16th floor hotel room. Dude, like that's a good memory to have. Yeah. It like, a good uh, fucking memory. I remember those days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was, uh, Oh, three years ago. I, I literally woke up on the other side of the world for the first time. That's awesome. Yeah. So there's that a wrestling man. You never know where it's going to take you. That's a trip. Man. <laughs> uh, anyways, back to other things. Yeah, Don, Ronnie doesn't know know the lore. That's not a shocker. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, uh, Ronnie, so, Ronnie, all right. Your homework for this week, Ronnie, is to listen to 691 episodes of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I, I'll just skip two from three years ago and uh, listen to and watch everything that happened to them. There you go. Off. There you go. I don't know how I don't know how much we talked about on the Mayhem Show of that. But. I'm jealous. I want to go to Bangkok. I was editing the Mayhem show while I was in 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 Thailand. So yeah, because uh, what <laughs> did like, Matt run it? I think Matt ran it that time. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. awesome, so. dude. Yep. Wow. All right. So so so, how do we think NXT is going to be? Like you know, obviously involved with this, but I mean, I, 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 hopefully we go back. Everybody's going to stay on their own show at this point. I think yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, we're going to roll back to that because um, honestly, NXT has no reason to show up on Raw and SmackDown anymore. Nope. They they showed they it. beat everyone. Nope, they showed it. Um, I mean, they, they showed up, they showed it. Now everybody else has to lick their wounds and, and carry on, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, good establishment for them, good advertising for them. Also, it's pro- Paul's brand, Triple H's brand. So, uh, there's that. Um, yeah, he's going to be on backstage tonight. That's going to be uh, awkward. Oh, I be- hope some awkward shit happens. Yeah. Cool. I can't watch. So, I tried watching, uh, you know, thankfully, like when we finish the show, apparently, when I pop on. If I pop on FS1, it's like the perfect time to land right in the middle backstage. <laughs> yeah, right? pretty much. Starts and at 11, so. So it's kind of like okay for that, but it's just like, I don't know if I, it, it feels like something I'm going to watch the YouTube clips of, mm-hmm. but I don't think I can watch the whole show. It's it's interesting. 
I, I only saw the one episode mm-hmm. with uh with uh Phil. Yeah. With uh, with our buddy Phil on it. It feels so awkward. Yeah. Now mm-hmm. so it's like like mm. uh, speaking of awkward. And especially he's not going to be on every week. And oh he isn't. No oh. he's not. So I I feel like they should have waited a week. Mm-hmm. So he's not gonna be on when Triple H is on tonight. No. Mm-hmm. Oh, that sucks, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he's not going to be on to address uh, the comments from Seth Rollins. He's not going to be on to address the comments from Corey Graves. <laughs> what did Corey say? Oh, yeah. Boy. Okay, so let's let's do the Corey Collective right now because apparently Corey said something. Oh boy, that Corey supposedly... is turning into Zenial JBL. <laughs> Zenial JBL. <laughs> Uh, Corey Gray is friend of the show, but he's been tweeting some stuff, and and I'm curious <sighs> thoughts on that. Uh, first one, he said something. About, I didn't know that this was a shot at Morrow when I first read it. In, in context, it was something about you wouldn't know it, but there's also a WWE Hall of Famer and a Ring of Honor champion on commentary talking about Saturday Night at War games. Mm-hmm. Uh, they may have something to offer too. And then Morrow was suspiciously not on Survivor Series for quote bloating out his voice. Mm-hmm. Um, so whatever you think of that. I mean, that's the official statement, and I don't have any reason to think not that, but I also don't. I, I do. It, it's called JBL bullying Morrow into almost leaving the company. Yeah, for a couple because years. I mean, you know, no, even though Morrow says that's not the reason. I'm no, like, yeah, yeah no. part of the reason it yeah. probably didn't help. Um. So I and I don't I don't and again I didn't know the angle of where, where that comment came from, right? I, I f- I hope that Corey issues an apology on his podcast. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I don't he's think not it's been, going he has to. been not much for apologizing lately. <laughs> so, no, he has not. But also, but, and, and to be fair, he will also run down the stupid crap that happens on Raw sometimes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, and when it comes to this Lana Bobby Lashley situation, he's been yes, very vocal. But so. but when it comes to stuff that he has to keep mum about he mm-hmm. keeps mum about it yeah i mean he's still a company line guy but they let him have a little bit of rope out there uh, he gets like he gets like two or three actual opinions a show yes i mean that's the deal so but um I, what was the other thing that he he went into was he well he was bashing cm punk uh no 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 i just think cm punk would comment on it because i'm oh okay i think, I think punk knows Moro. okay that makes sense. I mean, yeah. uh, Morrow did call his UFC match. Yeah, I don't know if that means they're buddies, but um, that is a thing. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, anyone who's seen the Morrow documentary, like, just just let the guy let the, let the guy call his show. Mm-hmm. Let him have fun. Uh, I am not aware of the Meltzer and Alvarez stuff. I kind of try to avoid that as much as possible. Yeah, no, you don't. Want I'm on the line. I'm I'm kind of like budding with the the uh, the. Uh, Bischoff and and um, Pritchard idea that those guys are just not good for the business. And uh, we should talk about Cornette. Is there more to talk about with Cornette? Really, we talked the about he, it on the, the show mid 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 show oh, last okay. week because it developed okay. while we were on the show. I guess. The, oh, okay, okay. I wasn't yeah. sure. Okay. The follow up is that he has resigned, and they say, "Well, he wasn't fired." It was like. He resigned. That's what you're going to get. Yeah, it's a company. That's what you're going to get. Is he was he on power this week? Does anyone know? Um, I don't know because I don't know where those tapings landed. Okay. So I mean, it, it uh, oh right, today. because yeah, because that's all. Cause that's all in the can. Yeah, they right? they're, they got a lot. Yeah, they probably tape a bunch at a time. Like uh, okay, well, that? someone let me know when mm-hmm. he is not on it anymore, and then I will try to watch it. Um. So, but it, it has been on blog. Lash back on that and everything, including unfortunate conversations of people asking whether it was actually an offensive thing, which just make me sad. Uh, uh, yeah, because it, it, it doesn't matter how you look at that statement. Mm-hmm. It's offensive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's um, I, I think I, it, w- it doesn't matter how you look at that joke. Yeah, yeah. It's offensive. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know. Yeah. Like yeah. either either it, it's just flat out racist mm-hmm. or it's flat out ignorant of other people's countries and mm-hmm. their strife mm-hmm. and i'd argue it's both <laughs> a little bit a little bit 
I mean, but that's why there's a lot of more positive. I mean, there are a lot of more positive wrestling uh, initiatives these days, thankfully. Um, uh, Sork, speaking of which, mm-hmm. I can't believe I'm going to say this. Um, over Thanksgiving break, mm-hmm. I am going to try and watch this week's Impact. What? Oh, because they did the Southpaw thing. Yeah. I saw a clip of it. I, I've been seeing GIFs. Mm-hmm. And I... Now, I know this is not a regular thing they're going to do. No. I know this is a one-time only thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know what Access TV is. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Neither do they. I, I don't. I, I don't. I don't but, use Twitch. But it is a channel that has I'm three. Di- to- it is a channel that has three different wrestling shows on it. I, I'm going to try and find this episode of Impact. Okay. If someone wants to upload a link for me on the Facebook page when it's up, do you, I would appreciate that. Would you mind? Would you mind signing up for a free account on the Impact Plus app? I'm not going to do that. Okay. No. What if I give no, you? No, because my, I've, what if I've I give seen you, their back catalog. I don't ever need to see it. No, 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 no. It's a free account. It's a free account. You you have to sign in to watch the free. What if I give you my password for the Impact Plus app so you can watch the free stuff? Because that's all I have it for. No, Sorg, Sorg. I just want to watch this one episode of Impact. That's right. I'm not going to watch anything else. I I don't care. No, you don't have to watch anything else. Sorg, I'm I'm not not signing up for Jackal. No, I just want you to sign in with my account. I want you to break the rules for me, Mike. All right, I know I know how you feel about that. So <laughs> I'm not paying for shit, so I can let you borrow my pl- login. Okay, okay. It's just All right. it's just the log. It's just okay. the it's, login. It, okay, I'll give uh, everybody I, I, my login. You guys want my login? If I knew my password, I would say it right now. <laughs> That's gonna be a hard password. <laughs> no, no, Ronnie. Have you seen what they're doing this week? Uh, no, but I am a big fan of the Southpaw stuff. So, mm-hmm. so they're doing Southpaw Regional Wrestling essentially. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Like, like, and, um, Jordan Grace is leading like a four horse women's staple. That's the, this is the part that I just watched. Yeah. I, I saw the gif of them. I'm like, okay, I don't know what this says. I need to watch it. I need to, I need to just experience it and I'm going to watch it and I'll have a full report next week. Oh, that is, that is my homework. And if you, if you don't want to sign into the app, there are several clips and videos um there is a uh muscles mcgee i believe is or don't spoil any of it don't spoil oh, any of it. oh jeez well Kongo no, Khan is the three hundred thousand dollar man sword. oh jeez i just showed like sword. two seconds of don't it, sword. it don't looks spoil. It, don't spoil i i love it. listen i love the crew of red impact i you know but, but you know they, they're, they're having fun with it I, this is kind of the new trend of what's old is new and having fun with that mm-hmm. and 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 Good on them for having their take on it, right? So. I saw someone who I didn't recognize with a tennis racket saying cosplay wrestlers are ruining wrestling. And, <laughs> and apparently, according to Tina, that is Sammy Callahan, and that makes it even funnier. <laughs> I okay. am watching. I am watching. I'm I'm looking at, at can I give can can I, can I give you the titles of some of these videos? No, no, sorry. Because I want Sorg. Sword. I don't. Somebody Sword, is named. Do you want me to watch this, or do you want me? I to hear do, about but it? I'm. I want to tell. Let's cover your ears, so I can tell the people out there. He's covering his ears. He took his headphones off. He took his headphones off. I'm okay, excited, one dude. minute. Take, we see him. We see him. Yep. So, so some of the videos include Muscles McGee humiliates the three thousand dollar man, which I believe is Congo Khan, and uh, and uh, uh, I don't know. It looks like Brian Cage with a Canadian flag. Uh, <laughs> The Rough Riders are the uh, the the four women faction. Um, let's see, a Jazzy Fit Body gets the official offer of a lifetime, and it appears to be Taya Valkyrie and uh, Joey Mercury. Or, I'm sorry, Joey. Um, Stop the whole Joey show. Ryan. What's that? What? I was waiting for you to tell me when you. Oh, we're talking. not done yet. We're not done yet. Uh, Damn it! Off, yeah. I'm um, the whole show. There appears to be a pizza man named Rapid Delivery. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Come on back. Come on back. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad he has a, his own webcam so I can let him know what's going on over yeah. there. I don't want to know any spoilers. Oh, I need to watch please. it. No. Yes. Friends, friends spoil Lucha Underground or Southpaw Impact Regional Rest Impact. <laughs> I don't want to say. Oh, I gotta love those regional wrestlings, man. Yeah, that's right. That's right. 
All right. Well, wrestling is fun again. And uh, hey, we're going to come back in a moment. But uh, I want you guys to let me know. And I know a lot of you guys already responded on the groups of what you're thankful for in wrestling. That is the big question this week. Uh, but in the meantime, when we... I, Rolling from that segue about a half an hour ago, Ronnie. There it is. Our friends supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Slice on Broadway up the street here in Beachview. Carnegie, PA. The East End and PNC Park. And of course, please, wherever you may be. I mean, look at the chat room. I, I, the, the last few names I see commenting are from California and Washington uh, State. Not PA. Uh, so if you are out there and you want some slice on Broadway, find a Broadway Avenue in your town. There probably is one. Take a picture of it and tag PGH underscore slice on the Twitter and let them know you want a slice on your Broadway. Help with that global expansion. Get it out there. Get it, get it west of the Mississippi and, uh, check it out. And, uh, and thank you so much for slice on Broadway supporting the show for all these years and shock and wrestling whenever i come in to pick up our pizza uh <laughs> so we're going to uh head over and check out uh what katie's got to say and we'll be right back with the big question sidekick media services we are your sidekick in business for social media video production and more find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com disney plus we should just do a disney plus show we, we, we should just do a disney plus show while we're at it we like, should. let's just talk about like, i mean it should be Let's just do one. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, the may it just the, it's just going to turn into the Mayhem Podcast Network, and it's just us talking about Disney Plus and whatever yep. we want to. I think I people mean, will be right with it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, let us know out there if you if you like it, that idea. Um, and you know, so oh, I had another thing I was going to talk about. Oh well, it's gone. It's gone. Oh, also, <laughs> side note: before we get into the big question, um, He Man's Masters of the Universe uh, WWE toys. I want them. Uh, it, that's. I think I think that's what I say when I first saw the commercial. <gasps> Ronnie's gonna want those. Yeah, I need them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That needs to happen. Um, th- they're pretty great actually, mm-hmm. from the looks of it. So, um, I believe I saw one with Rey Mysterio as Stratos, and I couldn't think of anything more perfect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, from that, hey, the big question. I like to do this around Thanksgiving every year, and I know a lot of you guys answer it, so I'll go through those as well. What are you thankful for in wrestling this year? What are you thankful for in wrestling this year? A lot mm. of wrestlers actually responded to this question. Mm. I am thankful that there is a lot of different wrestling now. Mm-hmm. Not just one company. You have a bunch of other companies, a bunch of other choices. The possibilities are endless. It's kind of mm. local and national at this point. Yeah. Everything, the possibilities are endless. We can go anywhere and work anywhere mm-hmm. and get new opportunities. Because now that everybody's stuff is easy to get out there, everybody's seen your stuff and they are interested in bringing you in. Mm-hmm. Like The possibilities are endless. And it's great. It's worked out for you so far. Yeah. So you, <laughs> Thanks, so you could say Please. it's a whole new world. Uh, shining, shimmering, and all its splendor. Don't you, cl- yes. don't you dare close your eyes. Don't you dare close your eyes. Oh God! Hold, hold your breath again. better. That's right here. <laughs> Mad <shot>. Mike. <laughs> sorry. Mad Mike, what are you thankful for in wrestling this year? Oh, I, I'm thankful for Keith Lee's spirit bomb. What? Keith it Lee's never doesn't look great. Mm-hmm. Like it looked great on Roman Reigns. It looked great on. God. Adam Cole. Keith, like, Lee, looked, Keith Lee is an impossible human being. He's going to be a star. Oh my god. Yeah. He, is, he was made this weekend. Between Keith Lee and Rhea Ripley, that that's your future of WWE. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those two right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, did you know Rhea Ripley is 23? Fuck. <laughs> 23. And she's this good already. And also point out, she was a different Rhea Ripley. If you go look up Rhea Ripley oh, yeah, in the first yeah. male, male young classic. Yeah, she went from Charlotte to Pete Dunne. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, and okay with it. She's, mm-hmm. much, she's all the better for it. Yeah. Uh, so, I love her. We have from the Wrestling Mayhem Show group, we asked the same question. The Rev Ron Hunt responded. Mm-hmm. A staircase that randomly sits at RWA for me to put Jordan Styles uh, through a table. 
Oh, okay. there's a big there's don't, a big staircase there. Let's don't kill my other tag team partner. Uh, yeah, I know Come that's kind of personal man. for you, isn't it? Huh. Hey, you know, brother, you gotta protect your tag team partners. There you go. I mean, I, I don't work you. at RWA, so I can't really do anything about it. No, Come no, on. no. Oh, please, you can do a running. Uh, Hashtag uh, running, Ronnie. Running, Ronnie. Half the fans do. Uh-huh. See. <laughs> <laughs> It's RWA, baby. Uh, in that case, Ooh. I'll see you guys next month. There you go. Just, just make sure to drink a white claw when you do it. That way, there will be no laws. I'm going right. There are no laws. Feel good. There are no <laughs> laws. There you go. Calling our shots. Calling <laughs> our shots. Bring a table with you, too, because Devon's going to be there. Oh, no shit. Yeah, he is. Well, I got to bring the good guys, then. There you go. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. We oh, do they that. should book you. Oh. Uh, one guy that is... Known as Noctis says the wonderful marriage between the good guys and anything involving Sorgatron Media. <laughs> it's true. Uh, we are having a good guys Christmas special this this uh, uh, this month. Uh, in three month. weeks, three weeks from tonight. Are, we, are you groaning over that, there, man, Mike? Don't you dare fucking. It's all the good oh, guys. Just, no, it's just the Christmas specials. I I want to be there in studio because I can never get away. Oh, I'm gonna you. need you to we'll buy some happen. eggnog so we can technically drink eggnog together, but not really. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm. I, as long as I can find time, there may be some musical accompaniment. Yeah, mm-hmm. yes. I, I, Ronnie, Ronnie, because you've never watched the show before, you you don't know this, but I'm known to be quite musical around the holidays. Very nice, and I'm known to make up my own songs about wrestling. Yeah, you might your your homework assignment might be to go pull up some uh, Christmas. Episodes oh, from God. ten years right. ago. Can we, right. uh, can there, we there was, there was write one. a song together and produce it for the uh, the uh, the good guys Christmas special? Um, I may be in the process of. He's already we're working gonna, on it. Yeah, oh yeah, he is. <laughs> I I need time to sit out and write out all the lyrics, but oh, I've, I've, been, I've been workshopping. So, uh, um, but Ronnie, there was one song I did a couple years ago where I did the Chipmunks Christmas song. <laughs> I did the or, now. Hold on, I did this live, doing four different voices. Wow, this is not a joke. <laughs> I I had a sheet in front of me, saying who was who and who I was supposed to sing what part as. I believe it was Dusty Rhodes, Triple H, the Macho Man, and Santino Morella. <laughs> There are several versions of uh, the Twelve Days of Christmas that we've sang over the years too. Yes. 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 Uh, yeah. That actually, you know, I could, Ronnie. If I got a list of Twelve Days of Wrestling Christmas, could you and the good guys flavor us with that? Uh, knock this. I know you're watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up and say yes in the chat because I'm in. Okay. All right. So I I will I will work on that because that one doesn't work as well with people over the computer no no, no we're, we're going to keep that uh the but, carols in but, the studio no we'll definitely do it if you guys do that one that would be amazing oh we'll definitely do it back to the thankful <laughs> we'll do our christmas plans yes. later uh <laughs> trapper tom says busiest kswa year yet with 25 events wow that's pretty good in the greater pittsburgh area i know good they were you guys, all over man. the place yeah, killing it out there, and, and I'm glad. Like so, many of them, cl- that gives me more chance to watch a wrestling show instead of work one. When <laughs> yeah, hey, hey Trapper Tom, hashtag Book Ronnie, eh? Mm-hmm. Uh, Brohemoth, a decent dominant year, great times with a lot of great people, and most importantly, the Sorgs. Um, Jim Sharman, the Sharman, Green Mist. <laughs> yes. Referee George says finishing my first year in the business without totally sucking. I can't believe he's only been around a year. Proud of you, George. Jeez. You did a great job, man. Jeez. One of, uh, you're, you're better than Nick. He should have quit the business. <laughs> it's better than most of the referees we work with. That's true. He, he seriously is. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 it, George is one of those guys that when I see he's on the card, I was like, oh, it's going to be an easy night as far as. He is legit my favorite referee, and I tell him every, day, mm-hmm. every time we work together. Absolutely. Uh, Sean Phoenix, a few things. Congratulations. Sean Phoenix came back to wrestling uh, just the, the, was officially, I guess, in November. Another uh, dude I'm proud yeah, of. Good yeah. job, buddy. Good for him. Absolutely. Good for him. I, I, I got to do that thing for him tonight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Fiend and uh, NXT on USA, says Richard. Uh, Duke Davis. Thankful that getting over and going over are two things I've never cared about. Just here for the free pizza. Okay. There you go. There you hey, go. I'm honest. That's good. That's good. 
our friends from the main event. Billy Johnson, thankful for the chances I've had to see wrestlers like the main event, among many others, hoping to see them more often in 2020. And as always, uh, Billy, I know you, you, you know, we just saw him Sunday uh, hanging out with us for the uh, pay-per-view party. Um, always, you know, get better soon. I'm hoping everything heals up all right with you. Uh, Chip out there says NXT. Tatiana, pretty thankful for wrestling being a place I can call home. In the past two Angel Gate shows, she had her uh, debut match at Angel Gate last month, and I think she had another one this month as well. So, and I got to say, for first match, looking very good. So, uh, look, so keep an eye on Tatiana Rose out there, guys. Mm-hmm. Kyle says, to be honest, just being a wrestling fan, it is a great time to be a wrestling fan. And Paula says, AEW and The Fiend, Firefly Funhouse forever. So, there are, that is just from the Wrestling Mayhem Show group, because I know we do have. We have more in the chat We room. have more in the chat room. We have, uh, Mike, can you pull up some of those in the chat room, please? Are you yeah, that's available? Cool. And I'll queue up my next one. He sent it up. He sent it up. Uh, I'm, j- I'm just going to the top of where people start. All right. So uh, Alex Karras says he is thankful for keeping for wrestling, keeping my head out of the mess that's been this past year. Wrestling is very good for that. Um, Brandon is thankful that AEW is made so WWE can take legal action to all the pay per view names they use, and with whatever else they do. Uh, Matt Carlin's says he is thankful for Saturday night pay-per-views and for WMS and every other island of sanity in the scene of idiot online wrestling fans. I say I, I believe Matt has to he typically has to work the overnight shifts Sunday into Monday, so that's probably a relief for him. Yes. Uh Tina says she is thankful for having the chance to see quality shows. And Cubby is thankful for Disney Plus, The Mandalorian, and Baby Yoda, and also for <laughs> Ronnie Starks being a turkey. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. Absolutely. Um, once again, if I don't see a gobble suit, a turkey suit this week, I don't know what we're doing in pro wrestling. So, so what are you to. thankful for? What's that? What are you thankful for? I wanna, you know, I'm, getting, I'm getting through everybody else's thankful. I want to make sure I don't take anybody's. Okay. Alex Miller on the uh, Wrestling Man Show Facebook group page, uh, having quality wrestling on Wednesdays and uh, whatever indie event is going uh, Chris says AEW and NXT giving me quality wrestling on Wednesday nights. And Mark says Hooven winning the high stakes title. Yeah, congratulations to Hooven. He won that a couple uh, months ago, I think now. Mm-hmm. So, um, and, and, and Hooven's looking good too. Got to see him at a couple events in the last month. And, uh, that dude's, uh, putting it together too. Um, and, uh, geez, what am I thankful for? Uh, I am thankful for, um, a lot of the opportunities and experiences and friends, um, you know, we kind of were joking earlier, uh, kind of pro wrestling and context and pro wrestling got me to Thailand three years ago. And now it's like, you know, uh, pro wrestling gets me to travel, to work with a lot of different talent. Um, I think we had, oh, I, I, did we do this year or last year? I think we, we've worked with about 13 different groups this year. Um, and that's always an experience in, and even, you know, down to being able to go to like AEW Raw and run into people, you know, that we know, you know, in front of and in the audience and, and sometimes backstage, you know, it's really cool to see like that community, that mayhem community kind of connecting everywhere. I'm thankful for being able to travel and meet you guys in the audience when I'm traveling to California or wherever else through the Texas you know, it's really cool to have that kind of broad community that we have going on here uh, with wrestling, with this wrestling mayhem show thing that we're doing, you know, and uh, I'm very thankful for that. I mean, that's no matter what, I know this show is going to keep going and uh, and and you guys keep showing up here in the chat room every week and listening and uh, and we see you at the shows and and it's weird to see like, you know, uh, I passed a fan at a show this past month and they nervously said, I watch you on YouTube, <laughs> you know, mm. like it's a very weird, very fun thing that's going on right now. And I think, I don't know, after 14 years, I think we're on to something. <laughs> so this show, 700 club, baby. <laughs> All right. With that, did we miss anything? I think we got everybody in the chat room too. Sure. Right? When is the 700 episode? When is it? I have to do the math. Yeah. This is, this is a uh, uh, 692 so yeah okay we'll have at least three or four more episodes this year so a little over two months the anniversary technically is at the beginning of january but we can maybe just go ahead and do 700 we'll just have to do the math on that mike okay 
All right. Math. Math. Take care of that math, Mike. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I think I think we have to dress up. Dress up. What? Yeah. What is a seven hundred club? Yeah. Oh boy. Um, I'll dress up like Brother Love. It'll be great. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> I don't have anything else to segue into. What, 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 what am I supposed to advertise right now? <laughs> uh hey uh pittsburghwrestling.com there's a lot of wrestling going on especially if you're in the pittsburgh area like us and we feature that over on pittsburghwrestling.com uh the 2020 dates for most of the uh groups here in the pittsburgh area are out they are there including prospect pro wrestling was just added hell we even have that new nxt date that just came up uh for the pittsburgh area Mm -hmm. so go over there and there's uh you know when there's stories that come up in the mainstream media we pop them over there. You got an upcoming events calendar. You can see already the first two weeks of December are super busy with five wrestling shows, six wrestling shows, because this is actually cutting one off now that I think about it, uh, over the next couple of weeks. Um, and, of course, like I said, you go to that event calendar if you want to start planning out your 2020. And I know, I know some of the groups out there have plenty of more dates coming for 2020 uh, as they're uh, working out their schedules. But as it is, we're already looking at January. And in January, you will be able to go to a wrestling show every weekend. We're back to that. And uh, as we go, I'm sure the rest of this is going to fill out too. So keep an eye on that. PittsburghWrestling.com. If you want to say, is there, if you, if, like, I want a button. I want you to be able to go to is there wrestling this weekend.com and it to say yes or no. That's my next <laughs> thing I want to code, right? Is there wrestling in Pittsburgh this weekend.com? And, uh, and and we'll, we'll, we need to work on that. Or there's a button or it comes up on the side. Is there wrestling this weekend? Yes. You know, so, or an app. It, it, Maybe it's if, an app. If, if it says yes, it should be like a picture of a local Pittsburgh indie wrestler giving a double thumbs up. That's right. It could be the good guys. Good guys. Yes. There you go. There's your picture right now. Yes. 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 All right. I forgot why I wanted to do the segment. <laughs> <laughs> Sorg, you know what else I just realized? What's that? Uh, once we turn the new year, mm-hmm. do you know what's going to be time for? Mm-hmm. Mayhem Mania. Mainstream Matt, are you hearing this? Are you ready for this? <laughs> Is your body ready for this? I, I have so many match ideas. Well, I think half of them just happened at Survivor Series. No, not even close. You know, it's, um, oh God, the 700 Club episode, he says. <laughs> he says big push for Patreon that day. Oh, with a scrolling thing. And, and man, that would be a lot of fun. That would be a whole lot of fun. Um, We'll have to perform Miracle Sorg. <laughs> yes. We'll have to make wheels walk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm not sure how we, I'm not sure how we do that, but. Uh, no, no, I don't, I don't know entirely how that works out. Hey, I'm pretty so... sure it's, it's the spirit of, of Jesus, the guy that stabbed John Cena in the right head. <laughs> so I understand there's another wrestling show this weekend. Well, I, oh, well, there sure is. I guess to be clear, there's going to be several. I will be at several shows, including, um, Revenge Pro and Erie Wednesday night in downtown Erie. That's going to be fun. Thanksgiving Eve. Saturday with UXWA up in the Cleveland area. And then we're going to, of course, be at Holiday Havoc at Black Diamond. Ronnie, you'll be there. There's a lot of Christmas trees. There is. I I hate Thork. I know those ones are not going to make it. Nope. What's that? What's that, Mike? It's Havoc. What'd I say? Havoc. Halloween Havoc. Havoc. (laughs) Well, you know. Sure. Sure. Um, I'm just trying to help. So there is a there is a Starcade special Sunday on the WWE Network. There sure the fuck is. Yes. And, uh, well, yeah, is that an excited or hey, there's another show? I'm not sure. Okay. Well, let's, <laughs> let's look at two matches have been announced for this. Mm-hmm. And so of course is taking the uh, the name of the uh, uh, classic the WrestleMania of WCW every year and turning it into. A spot show in the south. Yeah. Uh, as I knew. Um, but we do have two huge matches. I think they were announced today. Yes. Uh, including a fatal four-way women's tag team championship match with Kabuki Warriors, uh, Bliss and Nikki, uh, uh, Bailey and Sasha, and Charlotte and Becky. And then, I know you've been waiting for it, Mike. Rusev oh. and Bobby Lashley in a last man standing match. Mm. 
Uh, now, I wonder if Lana's going to be there because there is a restraining order of 90 miles or 90 days. 90 miles or 90 days? That's what Lana said. That's seriously what she said? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, so it's going to be one of those lower produced. Becky, Becky also issued some shade oh, about yeah? this match okay. because, um, because as of today, she is now the longest reigning raw women's champion. Mm-hmm. And she says, as of today, I'm the longest reigning raw women's champion. So I'm just thrilled to be in the tag team division. <laughs> You know, I started thinking about that. How much has she been defending her belt? Raw is not stacked with women's talent. Yeah. Now, if I if I were running Raw, mm-hmm. I would have Becky in a feud with the Iconics. Mm-hmm. That's what I would do because it's the Iconics. Yeah. And they are damn delightful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you can have a lot of fun with that. Like they're feuding with them. Like one gets a title shot, the other gets a title shot. I mean, yeah, and 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 then eventually Becky is just like, "Fine, I'll take both of you on in a handicap match for the title." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like it writes itself. It's not hard to do yeah. because, like, we want to avoid another Becky Charlotte match at all costs. <laughs> at all costs. I think even Becky and Charlotte have said on television. They don't want to fight each other. Yeah, because it done. It, it just they, it's good every time, but they've done it so many times. It's it's done to death. Yeah, yeah. It's like just because you're the two most talented people in our roster doesn't mean we need to keep I... doing this. Mm-hmm. Sword two of two of two of two, two of, of I'll accept. Yes, two most talented on Raw's roster. Sure. Yeah. 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 I, mean, I mean, you. That that is a roster with Asuka and Kyrie Saint Sorry. Yes, who are the women's tag champs. So, yes. mm-hmm. so uh, they cannot challenge individually for titles. Yes. Well, we had a lot of uh, so there's so there's been some big changes. And speaking of titles, let's talk about this for a moment. Shinsuke Nakamura has a new Intercontinental Championship. Yeah. Like it, yeah. 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 It, it kind of looks like a Lucha Underground title. Little yeah. bit influence. It doesn't feel like an Intercontinental Championship title. No. But it looks like a n- nice belt. Yeah. yeah. I like it. I like it. Um, and also reminded uh, Sami Zayn is damn delightful at backing him up. <laughs> mm-hmm. And his slam dancing was on. I don't know if Sammy is actually injured or not. We were trying to figure that out when we were watching that match. Um, but I hope he doesn't injure himself on a Shinsuke Nakamura entrance. <laughs> because he he is known for injuring himself during celebrations yes he is yeah. yes he is actually known for that so uh he, he i believe didn't he uh, mess up his elbow entering the ring for a john for cena match, match for his match with john cena yeah, yeah when he was still on his cena. raw debut yeah yeah he tore his rotator cuff or something yeah maybe. something crazy mm-hmm. just like hitting the steps or something yep so yeah um, I mean, that's why he's not doing much. I don't know, but uh, but he's great with that. Him, him yeah, on the pre show, he was uh, 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 tearing into Booker and uh, Christian, and as, as he should be, yeah, and he was doing great, yeah, good for Sammy Zane, good for yeah, him. yeah, Sammy, Sammy's doing all right. I wish he'd wrestle more. Interesting thing but, happening, you know, well, we know about El Generico's t shirts, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that guy who works on a farm, right? Yeah, yeah. Sammy, Sammy Zane versus uh, El Generico. I know cameraman Rob's warning. I now, sorry, this may be rumor and conjecture. Was El Generico the guy who rescued Rey Mysterio from the dungeon? Um, that is a purely speculation at this point. Okay. Uh, and it depends on which dirt sheet you read. Gotcha. Uh, okay. But uh, Pro Wrestling Tees, I thought this was an interesting email I got the other day, uh, now has. Kevin Steen merchandise. Mm, wow. Yeah. Interesting. So interesting. I'm just like Kevin Where's Steen. That guy? I'm like, and then I immediately <laughs> ran to the website to see if Kevin Owens got let go from WWE. <laughs> Cause I'm like, oh shit, what happened? Um, it seems like kind of an odd uh uh, uh I think they're just that. allowed to do that because there are a lot of guys that have 
Yeah. Like a lot, a lot of NXT guys still have their own pro wrestling tees. Yeah, it's it's pretty great they're doing that. So they're allowing them to like even Gargano and Ciampa. Have you know, they'll kind of work their own brands and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, like I mean, Stone Cold's over there. Hogan's got a thing. You know, like anybody that kind of has their own, um, uh, uh, has their own license, uh, to do things. Like you know, WWE doesn't own Macho Man. Like I think Macho Man owns Macho Man, right? Um, uh, I think technically right? Lanny does. Lanny does, yeah, that makes sense. And there's one over there. CM Punk's always owned his name, so he's mm-hmm. got merchandise over there. Um, you know, Austin's got one, and then you got like a, a you know, this is no longer like the indie <laughs> page anymore, right? It's kind of. I trendy. mean, you can still find it. Oh, and there's guys, definitely stuff it. in there. I know guys that a lot of guys that that have pages over there. Um, I mean, how we still have a, a couple of shirts over there for Wrestling Mayhem show. Please buy them. Uh, we need great, some more shirts by the great Alex Cars. Well, I don't we think should, we're allowed. We should get we should get a hashtag book Ronnie shirt. Hashtag book Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> and my uh, that might upset a few people. That might a little bit. That might a little bit. Well, if we start wearing them to shows, <laughs> hey, if you're not pissing people off, you're not doing it right, Ronnie. Mm, hey, you know, no, just they're, they're... Uh, just try to get over. Controversy know? creates cash. That's, That's right. Or at least hot dogs in the at least world. Dogs, yeah. yeah, at least hot dogs. Fresh out of the hot dog water. <laughs> um, <laughs> there was a point I was trying to get to with this. Uh, it's all right. Uh, Kevin Steen. That yeah, Kevin, Kevin Steen, Steen guy. Yeah, right. What was the thing you were also saying? While we were watching uh, War Games, it was it was just like we're watching and we're like, this is Ring of Honor three, four years ago. What was it? Every guy there. Yeah. Every guy in that War Games match. It was great. It was amazing. Well, <laughs> think about All right. So I was I was having a discussion at work. I'm pretty sure that every active woman on the Raw and SmackDown rosters currently have all been in NXT. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Um... Mm-hmm. None of them are not. The only one I can think of, and I don't even know if she's technically active anymore, is Alicia Fox. Uh, Mickey James as well. Mickey mm-hmm. James is not currently active she's been because she's injured, and she also had a match against Oscar in her return on NXT. Mm-hmm. So even Mickey James doesn't necessarily count mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. her return match was in NXT, mm-hmm. but not somebody that like came up through NXT. No, right. but she made her return to the company That's after right. getting hit, after getting hit by a train. Let us not forget <laughs> she was hit. By, by the Hogwarts Express. Yes, yes. <laughs> she was hit by the Hogwarts uh, Express, good. and she ended up in Florida. God bless you. Nice. God bless you, uh, uh, Impact James Wrestling. Storm. God James, bless Storm. You, James, <laughs> James Storm and Impact Wrestling. Are here about your damn choice. I, I have to point out, there's a Steen Zoo Expert t-shirt nice. as, as yes. part of this. Um, fuck, what was I going I don't know what. Yeah, I, no, I, I just think that's really interesting that there's uh, not a single woman on the main. Well, role, the Tina, Tina's calling out Natalia, but under your At, in NXT, she was in NXT. She had some matches with Charlotte, uh, coming out. She had she had a, a match for the NXT Women's Title against Charlotte. Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. she was in the tournament well, to the, determine that the first like NXT arrival on the network. Yeah, well, I mean, even Natty has roots in NXT. Mm-hmm. They may not be where she started, but mm-hmm. technically, if you count where Natty started, that was at Calgary Stampede. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's grown through, and, and and you see, you know, man, Ring of Honor has been screwed. I, Ring of Honor has been like, you know, we talk about like, oh, NXT, you know, all this talent came up and, and they've had a reset. Ring of Honor has had to do this multiple times and it may be getting their worst blow right now. Yeah, although, uh, although, it's self inflicted. I was gonna say it's also probably self inflicted mm-hmm. because we did get, you know, like I said, a, a lot of those guys featured this weekend are I'm like Ring of Honor, Ring of Honor, Ring of Honor, Ring of Honor, right? Like the where they come from, and uh, and it really was like you know I'm watching this match and harken back to the good days of watching a Ring of Honor match here in Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. You know when those guys when we had Bullet Club Adam Adam uh, Adam Cole um, baby. baby. <laughs> um and then, and then now you've seen that again, but this time everybody went and formed a AEW that was worthwhile, mm-hmm. you know, to the point where I keep hearing about how personnel is going to AEW, from the agents to the light board operators to the ring crew, 
are going to AEW from Ring of Honor. Like the that that skeleton personnel that makes the show run well is going. I don't blame them. I, I yeah, apparently not. And it, it makes me wonder. You know, uh, there's the news about Kelly Klein this past week, which, you know, wishing her the best of luck because she doesn't deserve to be treated by what it sounds like she's being treated like in that company. Absolutely not. Or, I hope, I hope or, she lands where she can wrestle. When she's no, healthy. she's kind of had a bullshit year in dealing with promoters this year. Like flat. I, yeah. Like flat. Um, I, I, I'm sure both AEW and NXT would scoop her up in a heartbeat. Well, if, she, of, if, she, if she decides to do either of them. Well, those. BJ Whitmer's in AEW as a, and has been very vocal about this situation, and obviously there's contracts involved, or maybe something would have happened by then. And also, she's dealing with a concussion. So Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. When, when, she's, when she's, like, all right again, I have a feeling she'll be scooped up very I, quickly. I really hope, because I think, you know, uh, you know, some of the girls there in, in AEW, you know, big fans of, but I think that division is, especially compared to what WWE is doing on all, all levels, is severely lacking. Yeah, like, all right. AEW. There's promise. There, Don't get me wrong. There, there's promise. There, there is, but they need to learn how to better pace their divisions. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, their tag team division is exceptionally strong. Mm-hmm. Their singles division. I, I really wish they had never said wins and losses count. Mm-hmm. I really wish they had never said that because if they hadn't said that, I'd have no issues with their singles division. But they said it. And it really, really. It's because that kid pinned Cody Rose, isn't it? No, it's because it's because you can't suddenly decide which matches you don't want to count Mm -hmm. because you have creatively booked yourself in a corner Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like that's what happens with unsanctioned matches okay like and yes they're turning it into a story now Mm -hmm. but that's only because they realize they fucked themselves i whenever you say well they turn it into a story now that i I never you know i never want to discount that 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 wasn't the plan no, Sorg. You know, I mean, I no seriously because I mean, I've having heard booking discussions about the plans that they hear in there, and then eventually we get to hear. Maybe you don't know the the lines in between that get us from A to B, but there's a skeleton, and there almost always is. And I can't believe even WWE as haphazard as it feels week to week on, like I say, a Monday Night Raw, there isn't some kind of plan. Sometimes the plan gets dumped, right? Or or changed or or something else replaces it because something or else happens about things or, or yeah or it's a booking by committee because it's a big corporation and they have to fill three hours of stuff you know I mean but I I I, I don't believe you know other than everybody's on a plane in Saudi Arabia and not back for SmackDown that we really do throw I mean what happened even to the point of what happened on SmackDown was. Well, hey, we're just gonna bump up that thing we we're gonna do next week, anyways. I don't think that was ever the plan. I don't think that kind of invasion thing was ever the plan. Uh, no, it seems I, like I, exactly I, what they do. No, not I that don't version think... of it. Not <laughs> no, that no, version but that's of what I'm it. I'm saying not that version of it. No, if that, if that version, if that episode of SmackDown doesn't go off as highly received as it was, mm-hmm. I think the build to Survivor Series would have been vastly different. Okay, okay. I think it would have been vastly different. But it is a thing. There was still going to be interplay in this build yeah. to Survivor Series to a three-way thing. And just because, you know... But we... it wasn't supposed to start then. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. But it gave a little more energy to it. And maybe it wouldn't have worked as well in the long run. But it I did, and that's it. the way they went. I, th- I think it was just going to be... These are the matches that are booked, and you'll have and you'd have the individual shows talk about them on their individual shows. Yeah. And maybe on the go home week, you have one or two crossovers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I think that was the original plan, but because the NXT invasion of SmackDown went so well, they just stepped it up. They just amped it up to everything, yeah. and that's they being and, and that that is being good reactive booking. And I I think you know. And maybe it is or isn't the case in AEW, but I, I, I think making this lights out thing um, a storyline is is part of the plan. 
you know. And, well, if it is, I don't like the plan. Okay. I well, think the plan we, is- we've talked about your issue with lights out matches yeah. to begin with. So yeah. it's interesting. Yeah, we and, and, react- and, and, and and just like just like let's say the first few episodes of Lucha Underground, uh AEW is kind of setting the rules for their how they do wrestle. Right? Mm-hmm. So I mean, let's see how this pans out. Some right, of us, I really some want of, them to flesh out their women's solution. Oh, well, that definitely needs to happen, and that's going to be. And, and I'm not going to watch AEW Dark. Sorry, I'm not going to watch it. And like, I think that is. I think you are lacking in the experience for not doing it. It's no, really good. But, it no, is really good. It's a very they, good. Listen, I just like a really good wrestling show, and it's a very good wrestling show. Yeah, it's yeah. Not, I I watch a lot of very. Good I wrestling. mean, I skip all the fucking recaps. Because I don't need that. Yeah. I really don't need that. But I think they need to... If AEW Dark is going to count, then... Like, if it's going to matter, mm-hmm. if they're going to book storylines and stuff, they need to show me on their main show what happened on there. Have they not been? Have they not they been flashing they back They don't to? do that. Okay. They don't do that at all. There's kind of a presumption and, that maybe and, you're looking at that. And I, and I hate that they're... They need to do a recap of their rankings on Dynamite. Mm-hmm. I don't. Need, I shouldn't have to go to Twitter to see what their fucking rankings are. Is it not if on their website? To, I shouldn't have to go to their website, Sorg. I should be able to watch their television show that they're producing and be able to know what the rankings are. They should have a scroll on the bottom of the screen. Current singles rankings, current tag team rankings, current women's rankings. It's not hard. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't even have to dedicate a whole segment to talk about it. During one of the matches that go 20 minutes, a scroll underneath current tag team rankings, current singles rankings. Like, that's all you need. And if I don't see, and if I don't pay attention to it on the show, that's on me. I don't like that they make you go to a whole bunch of different places mm-hmm. to see stuff. Well, because it, it is... to their credit, they ha- while they have stuff everywhere, the stuff that counts for Raw, SmackDown, and NXT, even if it happens on Twitter, on .com, on YouTube, wherever, they show you it on the main show. Not always. More often than not. They will from time to time, but sometimes like, well, so-and-so has been saying a lot of stuff about this person on Twitter lately. That we don't get like an on-screen graphic per se. Uh, they do do that though. See, it, it happens at times, but I'm I'm saying it's not. I don't think it's as I I, I think it's kind of slipped in there more than anything. I'm actually having a hard time finding the rankings in general. <laughs> exactly, that's they what I'm saying. There. That is an issue. It should it shouldn't be this hard to find the rankings. Well, hey, I I I kind of I kind of made a big thing about another local promotion that had rankings. I'm like, well, I don't understand your rules and your rankings. Yep. Put it on your website. Yep. You know, and then we ignore the rules. Uh, so, anyways, but um, were they drinking white claw? That might be why. Uh, <laughs> There's no laws. I though. don't think he's a white claw drinker, Ronnie. I don't think you've ever seen him with it on in hand. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, you gotta drink the claw, man. There you <laughs> it is the no law. Lo- no. no laws when you're drinking claws. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. By I the think- way, by the way, if there's not a like peppermint themed white claw. Called Mrs. Claus out this year. Oh, what the definitely will be, dude. There has to what be. The fuck, are we even doing? Oh, I know why you can't find it because we just had they just they have all the gifts up for uh, uh, AEW Dark. So, but that's what I'm saying. But uh, there should be a yeah. dedicated page a on the website for the rankings. Yeah, yeah, I'm not seeing it. Definitely not seeing exactly. it. Exactly, right that's what I'm saying. I'm if under news, you're basing results, everything on the rankings, and events, I can't see it when I go roster. to your home page. Hold on, hold on. We're doing the, we're doing the thing right now. All right. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. You're yeah, right. that's weird. Right? I'm with you. I'm with you. I mean, especially if they're starting. And I felt like just in the last week they've been making a big deal about these rankings. Mm-hmm. And, um, and and Scorpio Sky is getting a title shot. Right. I'm sorry. What exactly is his singles ranking? Because I guarantee it's not as good as Pax. Nope. Mm-hmm. Well, also, like, just, whoa, 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 whoa! Just because you have rankings doesn't mean title shots are not going to happen just for the number one. Yeah, no, actually, it does because that's what they said. 
That's what they said, Sorg. Okay, okay. But no, we just, <laughs> that's not me. Okay, that's what they said. That's not me. That's what they say. Okay, okay. But sometimes, you know, there's personal beefs and challenges. But no, no, Sorg. But you're saying that can never happen. If they say, Sorg, they're the ones that said wins and losses matter. That doesn't mean, that doesn't, whoa, whoa, whoa. That, no, but, that, no, but what I'm saying is, Brandon Cutler, a guy mm-hmm. who has not won a single match on television. No. If he walks up and kicks Chris Jericho in the dick, does he get a title shot? This is the exact segment that they made fun of on Raw a couple weeks ago with Shelton Benjamin and Rey Mysterio. Okay. This is the exact thing. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Okay. You can either say wins and losses matter, or you can do storyline. First of all, we're not talking about AEW's catering. Okay. Okay. But, but you can't but you Excuse can't me. have you can't say wins and losses matter and then do storyline title matches. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you you can't do both. Ronnie, yes. you're giggling over there. What do you think? Uh, you, yeah. know, you, you you've you've been booked in a few things with rankings and such. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's that triple crown championship treating you? Oh uh, good. Yeah, we uh, we're defending it and uh I you know wait, I don't even know if we're defending it at the anniversary show. <laughs> I don't know what any of the matches are at the anniversary oh, show. Strap. I don't on. even know there's going to oh, be. Yeah. I don't even know there's going to be matches at the anniversary show. We're, uh, we're doing something. In All the I know is you'll show. see it on Facebook. Yeah. It'll be, oh, it's going to be live. Uh, d- as far as I know, <laughs> nice. I don't know. Nobody's told me any different. I'm literally going to grab the camera. From Nobody's you told me not to like, show up and, and yeah. connect it to the internet. I'm literally going to grab the camera and be like, "Hello, Facebook. Hello, welcome to the anniversary show." Hmm. 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 Yes. Anyways, what do you yeah. think about booking? Uh, I mean, AEW's okay right now. You okay, know. all right. It's a little confusing. Uh, they're kind of like, uh, I don't know, contradicting themselves a little bit. But uh, it's okay. I'm enjoying it for what it is. Sure, that's my answer. Okay. <laughs> but see, the thing is, again, I'm not talking about the M ring. The M ring's fine. The M ring's good. It's just the office but making weird decisions. And- everyone mm-hmm. knows me. I'm a story guy. Yep. Okay. To be fair. So while the actual ranking rankings I have not located yet, if you go to the roster page, I actually like this. They do have everybody's win loss win loss record. Yeah, but on here. All right. So I find I finally so had I kudos. went to their Twitter feed. Sorg, I went to their Twitter feed. Mm-hmm. You have to go back to four days ago mm-hmm. for these rankings. Which, by the way, these at least one of these should be a pinned tweet. Yeah. Yes. One of them should. All right. Just for a few days. Maybe it wasn't until Dark came out. So, do you want this, the top five singles rankings? Let me know. Uh, so, at number five, we have Kenny Omega mm-hmm. at three and two. At number four, we have Hangman Adam Page. Mm-hmm. Was that five and five, right? Four and three. Uh, overall five. Oh, this five. must have updated with dark today. No, no, no. Th- because there's a singles ranking. Oh, I see. I see. I see. It's four and three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a singles ranking and okay. overall. All right. By the way, uh, Brian. Which, Brandon by Cutler. the way, by the way, don't put the overall ranking on there. Just don't put it on there. That seems confusing. Remember, that does seem yeah, confusing because it doesn't make any sense. Yes. It's not like when you go to like like the NFL standings mm-hmm. and they say the Cowboys are six and five. Well, then that four and oh in their division. That like, also tells so me that? that this is not a one-to-one thing, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's used as a tiebreaker, but they don't say that on the graphic. Just keep it as your singles rankings. Okay. okay. Anyway, anyways, uh, number three is Cody at three, one and one. Mm-hmm. Number two is uh, Moxley at mm-hmm. three, oh, and one. And number one is Pac at four, one, and one. You know who's not in their top five, Sorg? Mm. The guy getting a fucking title shot. He's not in their top five. Let's see what his actual record is. He is nine to three overall, five and two tags, four and zero in trios. And how many in singles? Zero and zero. Oh, that's weird. And yet he's getting a title shot. Okay. All right. What I'm saying. This is what this is exactly what I'm saying. If it was someone like Phoenix mm-hmm. who has a singles record mm-hmm. that's undefeated, mm-hmm. sure, I buy that. But Scorpio Sky has not had a single one-on-one match in so AEW. So then, how do we start to wait when we get like a year into this? When there's like, hey, this person has a three and L record, and they just came in. 
That's what I'm versus... saying. You, this is why rankings don't work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If anything, you do it on a points based system and you reset it every month. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or, or like after the pay per view, whenever your pay per views are, as soon as the pay per view is over, everyone goes back to zero. Okay. Okay. And then you get a points based system. And like if you win by pinfall, you get two points. And so maybe we base so, so we can build something. We base the next challenger on that just ended. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, because then you can even have rematches if you want. If the guy who lost at the pay per view. You know, bust his ass enough to get another shot. Mm-hmm. Then there you go. I want to point out that Orange Cassidy is uh, one and zero oh <laughs> in a trios match. Or Orange yeah. Cassidy is yeah. my spirit animal. Absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. You see the video where they ask him what he was doing in that bathroom. <laughs> so, <laughs> what, what was he doing? I, I forget what he said. Okay, but I don't even know if he said anything. But but like uh, that—that's what bothers me because I look for logic and storytelling. Everyone knows this about me. I've mm. said it for years and years and years. It was one of my biggest problems with Impact, with mm. everything. I already had concerns about AEW going in about if they can tell cohesive stories. Mm-hmm. Right now, they're proving me correct that they can't. Mm-hmm. That's that's my only issue with it. Like, You have to be consistent with it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Well, other than math, what did we learn from wrestling this week? I learned that Keith Lee and Rhea Ripley are gods. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> I learned apparently the entire internet has a hard on for Rhea Ripley. Holy shit. Dude, right? so, wow. You should have known that already. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I learned so. both those things that you both are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I learned I learned uh, I learned I learned that when when things feel shitty, I get a I I, I can keep I can go to a Highly redeeming wrestling show and feel better about myself. Mm. And that was that was Saturday at Rise Wrestling. I was like, this is not a Nikki wrestling show just for icky wrestling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this was good wrestling it was. for oh. a good cause. Oh, and I also learned I could listen to Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Undertaker talk for hours. Can we get more of that show? Can we get another uh, two hours, please? Supposedly they record for four hours. Not surprised at all. Yeah, that was I just want The Undertaker. Talk, I, I want I want Mark Calloway just talking about his I learned the entire day. I learned you gotta watch out when you give Dominic DiNucci a live mic. Oh boy. Why would so he, what say? Nick Foley was here in Pittsburgh for the, <laughs> at the improv our friend of the show, Matt Light. I, I shared a video of him hanging with uh Mick Foley um on the Mayhem show Facebooks. Uh so and uh, I remember he told the story about how he um uh, uh June twenty eighth he didn't get this. He didn't get it's his, it. Was his birthday, and he didn't get to go to Hell in a Cell. Yeah, and, yeah. And his and his dad's had a cable box that that fizzled out because yeah. it was a, a illegal cable box. So now he's come full circle. He actually got to tell that story on the show uh, with McFoley <laughs> on stage. But um, um, so at the end, as usually this has happened here before here in Pittsburgh, you'd see Dominic come up. He brought Dominic up the first time he was here. Uh, his trainer, of course, but he also brought Preston Steele, who mm-hmm. I know was just inducted in the KSWA Hall of Fame, um, and a couple other guys. I couldn't remember the other guy's name, but Lord Zoltan was up there too, mm-hmm. um, and uh, you know all all Dominic guys, and they were just telling stories for the last like twenty minutes of this thing between them, learning a lot of a lot of stories about Italy, <laughs> and Africa, um, about their trips over there. It was really cool, and how many times Mick Foley got arrested in Italy. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, which includes, this is not my point, but includes one time, the second time he got arrested, because the first one was just like um, them doing stuff with the Italian flag by, you know, shining their boots. Um, and then the next day, Shane Douglas decided to get in a fight with him at in the middle of a, a gym to try to put over the next show, which was already sold out. Oh, boy. Yes. Um but uh, somebody asked, uh, what do you think about, you know, the current product versus how hard you guys worked back in the day? And Mick's given this answer. But like, I'm not going to say that the people don't work hard. They're out there. Th- to be true, these guys are working their fucking asses off. I mean, look at a game, you know, yeah. shows like War Games and, and everything Just like that. Just look at Adam Cole's, like, since last Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Man had Jeez. a ladder match. Hardest he current work guy working in wrestling. He Holy had a ladder shit. match. He invaded SmackDown. He had War Games. And he had a fucking match with pete dumb where he lost mm-hmm. his fingers <laughs> <laughs> exactly um 
but uh so so like dominic like stops him in the middle of the thing and says give me that mic <laughs> in italian oh, no. <laughs> and he goes he says, the wrestling today is not worth a dime <laughs> oh boy oh boy <laughs> To eruption of cheers and standing applause to end the Mick Foley show at the Improv for Monday night. So nice. that is what I learned. You watch when you give Dominic a a. I wonder. I wonder what wrestling Dominic Dimitri watches these days. I'd like to know what he thinks of Orange Cassidy. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be something to that because I know, like. God, you talk to Jock Samson and he's like, like he prides himself on being able to have a well reacted to wrestling match with as little wrestling moves as possible. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you, I mean, I'm not saying anything that is not, you can't tell when you watch a Jock Samson match, (laughs) you know, Um, you know, I I think he would appreciate that guy. Um, But also that Orange Cassidy can get over by just being Orange Cassidy. Yeah. I mean, I think I think that's a he's great the story. smartest professional wrestler working today. And he'll last the longest, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh also Tina learned that heel commentators can't get out of their own way. Seen a lot of that. <laughs> they, they, that's the damn truth. Oh, seen seen that a lot on the Indies. Uh so all right, Ronnie Starks. What did I learn in wrestling? No, did you I thought you already said that. I did. What were we uh as I know? This is where you plug stuff. Oh um, yeah. Uh uh you can follow me on the Twitter at Ron, or Starks Wrestling, you can follow or find me on the Facebook at Ronnie Starks. Follow me on Instagram at the Ronnie Starks, and uh, where you can find me. Uh, you got at least one show this weekend. Uh, yeah, I got uh, Black Diamond on Sunday. Black and Diamond you'll be in a Virginia. giant turkey suit. Uh, God, I hope not. <laughs> don't so, don't put that idea in Rick Diamond's head. Hey. Double somebody message Rick right now. No, I know somebody out there has his, has his Facebook. Don't you guys fucking well, wait? Dare. Did, the, did the deck the halls match get over with him? Uh, he laughed. He's like, if somebody uh, gives me a bunch of lights, we can do it. What? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, might be oh, donating boy. to the cause. Yeah, oh, that's the only way because he's not going to buy a bunch of uh, lights. Yeah, he, he just bought a bunch of Christmas trees. So. Yeah, so if somebody uh, <laughs> brings him a bunch of lights. By the way, we'll he's giving it. those pictures of the Diamond Plex with all those Christmas trees at ringside. Yeah. They are not making it through the show. I remember yeah, last year yeah. Beast Man chucking a Christmas tree at somebody. Yeah. So Something's going to happen to them trees. One? What's that? Just one? I think there was only one. Now there's at least like five of them out there. Yeah, there's way oh, too many. Boy. Oh, boy. Now, what is it going to look like? The film or wrestling show at Christmas Tree Lane? We're going to find out. Oh, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at least kicking her through I one of them trees. And, and, and for me, I, I, I specifically name drop Crane Axe Christmas Tree Lane up in Hermitage, PA. And I popped. And, so and, right? Up. Okay. I knew some people got that one. And so now I want to get like Zeke Mercer to be like an animatronic with candy canes or something. For someone you, like, needs some DDT someone else through yeah. a wreath. Through a wreath? <laughs> through a wreath. Oh. And then when they pop back up, like their their wreath is Their running. head is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we just yeah. I need to go to Crane X here pretty soon. And Something if there are porta years. potties at said show, someone needs to come out and say no. shitter is full. No, <laughs> but there is a unisex bathroom. Um, oh no, you know. Oh my God, Sorg. I all right. This is this is a question before we end the show. <laughs> Has anyone ever had a Home Alone brawl? What? For Christmas. I and mean, what where, would that involve? Where, where the only weapons allowed are things Kevin has used in the Home Alone movies. Oh, that includes whereas, a blowtorch. As opposed to a bag of thumbtacks, it's a bag of micro machines. Well, at least you didn't say. Uh... <laughs> and somebody has to yell, yeah. keep the change, you filthy animal. Yeah. Yes. Good and God. then it's Dennis Gregory and you throw fucking change at him. <laughs> Again, respect the Lord. I respect the lore. I have to respect the lore more often. Mad Mike four day three on the Twitter. YouTube.com slash poppy. Of course. Of course on the Twitter. Uh this is the last podcast of the week. Well, okay, we're recording one tomorrow, but it's not technically one you're gonna see. Uh but <laughs> so uh but uh we will be back with regular stuff. We should be back next Monday with the Monday Mayhem wrap up. Uh in at least three weeks of mayhem getting thrown down before the holidays. We got plenty, 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 plenty of interviews scheduled. I don't know when they'll all go out on podcasts, but we have currently scheduled Bubba the Bulldog, Bubba the Bulldog, as well as uh, DK Abel, 
um, as well as Tyler Klein, the trophy boy, and Marshall Gambino. We are oh. going to give a live mic on the internet again. Oh, boy. Oh, man, Marshall. Yeah, it might be during your work day, so you might have to put it up there in the office. I hope. I, I don't hope, think I'll be allowed to. I hope you're going to wear your Marshall Gambino sh- hat. Wow, I, hey, he's very reserved when he gets in the sh- in the show. But we'll see if I poke. Sure. We'll see if I poke him a little, get his real opinions on things. <laughs> just, just ask him to move something. Yes, <laughs> he moves a lot at those <laughs> wrestling Gambino shows. Gambino Moving Company. Oh boy, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so sorry. I just had a flashback to the move this that we'd yell at him. Move this. Yes. <laughs> We've talked about it enough on the show. Thank <laughs> you, everybody. We see. We'll see you guys next time. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Get high off that crypto fan. We'll see you next week. Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.